Good afternoon, Robert Skirbler here filming north and east from Baltic Street looking at Admiral and Abalone. Uh, I think I might be walking down to some of those breaks because they look really good. Couldn't find a parking spot, so I might be taking a hike. But nonetheless, uh, looking like two to three foot waves on the breaks over there. Out here in front, uh, not looking too bad either. Nice little section here, but I think I'm going to be taking a little hike. Um, kind of lusting for some uh, steeper, faster waves. And I think I see them over there at Admiral and Abilene. But nonetheless, uh, beautiful conditions today with temperatures in the lower 80s, humidity's way down. And with those easterly winds, ocean water temperatures warming up quite a bit here in the Nags Head region as the Gulf Stream gets pushed in closer to shore. All right, so let's get down to the official wave information for the outer banks right now uh, we got two to three foot waves up and down the outer banks with easterly winds generally here in nags head officially we've got two foot conditions in chop not looking too choppy to me right now primary swell the out, out of the southeast at 1.9 foot as an eight second swell we got a secondary swell also out of the northeast and uh, that one's not too much smaller so you've got some nice combined conditions for waves here in the nags head region uh, east winds at around 9 miles per hour. That's expected to turn toward the south and east later on today. Air temperature is 81 degrees. Ocean water temperature is rising up to the 73 degrees range. And then heading on down south to Rodanthe, we've got two foot waves, choppy conditions, two foot plus waves, choppy conditions. Primary swell out of the east southeast at 1.5 feet. That is an eight second swell. Winds out of the east at 9 miles per hour. That's also expected to turn toward the southeast as we get later into the day. Air temperatures 82 degrees. Ocean water temperatures 81 degrees. And then last of all, at Buxton, we've got two foot plus waves. Uh, officially choppy conditions. Primary swell out of the southeast at 2.2 feet. That is a seven second swell. Winds out of the southeast right now at Buxton at... 13 miles per hour. Air temperatures at Buxton 81 degrees, ocean water temperatures 82. And let's also talk about the tropics here. We've been tracking the tropics for the summer hurricane season. We have two disturbances that we are watching right now. One off the U.S. East Coast. In fact, you can see some of the higher level clouds in association with that disturbance. If we look off to the south and east, um, that disturbance is uh, heading offshore and um, not much chance of development, although the National Hurricane Center is citing a 20% a chance of potential development. So that system is something that we'll need to keep an eye on as time progresses. And then we have a second disturbance out in the central North Atlantic Ocean, um, well, well east of the Bahamas and north and east of the Windward Islands. Uh, this system is much more likely to develop into a tropical cyclone, showing an 80% chance of development, according to the National Hurricane Center. And also, we've been tracking some of the climate extremes related to the most recent global heat wave, both in the atmosphere and in the ocean system. And we've got uh, two statements out of expert agencies right now. Um, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration showing that June was the hottest June ever recorded. Meanwhile, the World Meteor Meteorological Organization and Copernicus out of Europe are making a recent statement that July will likely be the hottest month ever recorded. And uh, these temperatures driven by fossil fuel burning extreme heat does affect us here at the beaches um, it does harm our ocean environment and it increases risk of harm to our coastlines and our beautiful beach beaches through the amplification of extreme weather events and through rising sea levels as well as through hot ocean conditions that create a nasty ocean environment including uh, coral bleaching um, harmful and risky to your health microbial blooms and also uh, heat impacts with coral reefs and in addition all that carbon dioxide from the fossil fuel burning 
creates a more and more acidic ocean state which is harmful to sea life um, and here at the obx wave report we've been advocating for the support for the rapid deployment of clean energy clean energy being wind water solar and electric vehicles these are the most readily available solutions to climate crisis and according to a number of experts uh, these energy systems alone are capable of producing 100 percent of the world's power and getting us away from the harmful fossil fuel burning that is creating so much damage and risk in our global earth system and creating so many harms to the life support systems that we all enjoy and rely on so uh, thank you for joining me for this session of the obx wave report and i do hope you guys get into the water and tear it up thank you once again